Let's talk really quickly about styling links in Elementor and mainly styling individual links in Elementor. It really depends on the theme that you're using, but if you're using the Hello Elementor theme, uh, styling individual links and styling every single link is pretty simple, but you need to know a little bit about CSS. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. First off, Link Styles 101. Uh, when you have a link, this is the actual HTML behind it. It doesn't matter how you make the link. You can control K. Uh, you can hit the link icon in WordPress. You can do whatever you want. This is what the link will look like. A H R E F equals your link, uh, the URL that you're linking to. This is your link text. Uh, and then uh, you close your, your link tag. So here's your default link, and you'll notice that this link is green. And this is because we specified globally any link, because that's an A. In the CSS, this is an A. Any link is colored green, right? Now you might be wondering, this is another link. It has an A tag. Why is it not green? And that's because we specified this link using an identifying element. So we made the identifier of this link link style one by doing id equals link style one in the css we identified link style one and we changed it to be bold and we changed the color to be orange and we can we can make the color also a hex code or anything like that so here's a bright bright yellow hex code so that should have given you a brief overview of how you style links uh, using HTML and CSS. Now let's go into Elementor and uh, discuss this in that context. So as you can see, here's a really, really quick uh, box. I made it in a uh, Elementor page. And uh, let's go in and discuss how to style the links. So here, here's our content in the text editor under Elementor. Um, here's a link and here's a link. We made the link by selecting the text uh, and clicking this and adding our link. Um, this is the default link. Link one is default. The default color for the Hello Elementor theme is pink, so that's why this link is pink. If we go into the text, we'll see, just like the code pen example, A H R E F equals whatever we're linking to. Here's your um, here's your link link text, and it's it's. Uh, it's it's pink because the Hello Elementor theme dictates uh, that it will be pink. If you want to globally change every link color on your site, you simply go do A in the custom CSS under customizer uh, in the WordPress back, and you do A, and then you change the color. That would change this link's color. Now here's a here's a specific link. This link is specified, as you can see here. Its ID is link2. So we specified that this is going to be link2. Let me really quickly break it up again. Oh, never mind. It won't break it up. But this is link2 right here. And the way we made this link color different from the default link color here, we specified the ID by going from in here, here's your link, by going to text, finding the link, and adding id link 2. Now id link 2, if we go into the custom CSS of the individual text element in Elementor, we specified the id of link 2 by doing a, a hash symbol and then link 2. And then we specified that it would be gold and it would be bold. And we specified that. We can make it black if we want. We can change any color. But it's only going to apply to this single link because we specified that this link We'll do the same. Now you can use an identifier on any link that you want. So if we added this identifier here, it would it would have the same styling because it has the same identifier. If we identified it differently, so say we made this link three, and we went into the custom CSS and we made a link three code, and we changed that code to say uh, red. Now, the link that's specified with this identifier will be red. And if we change the specifier in the text, as you can see, this, this link 
If we change this to link 3, it will become the color that we specified in link 3. If we change this back to link 2, it will go back to black. So all you need to do to, to edit the colors of individual links is under your link, find your link, go to text in Elementor, find the actual HTML behind the link, add your identifier, then in the custom CSS, specify what you want that identifier to tell the link to do.